Hey guys, it is, oh my gosh, is April done already? Um, it's about to end and that brings us to what am I reading for May? Hey guys, if you are new here, welcome to the book path. I'm Nicole and if this isn't your first rodeo, thanks for showing up and sticking around. You guys are awesome. Um, so like I said before, I can't believe that April is already almost done. Like it's just, is time just going faster? I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but basically May is upon us. There are new readathons to take part in and I'm going to try to process these a little bit quicker. Maybe not go into detail so much on the books. I'll save that for when I do like my roundups. Um, but let you know what I'm participating in this month and what I'm going to try to get and knock off the list this month. So for May, I have um, a few readathons that are coming back. Um, one of them is the Asian readathon, and this is hosted by Cindy over at With Cindy. Um, she's been doing this for a few years now. I did it last year, and last year she started to have it kind of influenced by a lot of um, Asian films that were coming out. And so last year, the prompts that she had were based on the movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which obviously went on to go win some Oscars. I still haven't seen it, but um, I've heard really good things about it. This year, she is inspired by the movie Joyride, which I've seen the trailers. This looks hysterical and like so much fun. You have a bunch of um, uh, these Asian girls, I think they're Korean, and um one is wanting to like find out kind of more of her roots and so all of her friends kind of show up and they're all these misfits and like the chaos ensues like i'm kind of expecting in an asian girl's version of the hangover like it just fills me with like the funny moments that i'm just waiting for in this i cannot wait to see it so anyway she is going to have um asian readathon kind of reflect this movie in her prompts and for Asian Readathon, it is a month-long readathon. I will link everything down below for you guys to check these out. Um, and she has five prompts that she has um, for the month. Now you can either read one book for a prompt or you can compile them all. If you are able to read one book and have it fulfill all the prompts, then do so. The whole point of the readathon is to really um, get you, like if you haven't really read a lot of um, works by Asian authors um, or works of like things that revolve around like Asian mythology, Asian history, anything like that. This is kind of to foster that for you. So um, without further ado, um, prompt one is to read a book written by an Asian author. Sounds simple enough. For this book, I have decided to get one of the books on my 40 by 40, and that is Pachinko. Um, last April through June. This was actually um, showing up a lot in TBRs. Um, it got on my radar about a year ago and then I know that it got turned into a movie with one of um, our, me and my husband's favorite Korean actors, Lee Min Ho. And so we, um, I wanted to read the book before I go and you know watch the movie. But it's basically a generation tale. Part taking, you know, part of it taking place in Korea, other parts taking in um, Japan in um, America, I think part of it, but it's how you know certain turns of events influence these multiple generations over the span of time. Um, I've heard really good things about it, but obviously it is written by Min Jin Lee, who is an Asian author. Um, so I will be doing this to fulfill that. Plus, we'll get a book from my forty before forty off of the list. So the second prompt is to read a book about a friendship between Asian characters. For this one, I am going to go with The Joy Luck Club um, by Amy Tan. This is one that I, it made the rounds when I was a kid. The movie came out when I was younger and I just always heard good things about it. So once again, this was something else on my 40 before 40 and I figured it was really a good tale to read because you have, once again, it is a multi-generational tale. I think these are Chinese women and it's the friendships that they have, the loves they have over these generations. And um, so Joy Luck Club is actually going to fulfill like a few prompts because um, you have a, the third prompt is a book written by, that has an Asian author or an Asian character focused on identity or self-discovery. And I feel that with either Pachinko or with the Joy Luck Club, you're gonna find that because these are tales of 
you know, like I said, the multi-generational trauma, how do you move past that? How do you know who you are, getting to know you are who you are and getting to know who your parents are and things like that. So I feel there's a lot of like discovery all around and and um, and on your own identity. And I know that in the Joy Look Club, there's a few of the women who are kind of going through their own things that are discovering, you know, for them what's going on and they learn from the generations before them. Um, for, um, I'm gonna reverse it. I know for prompt five, it says, I'm gonna give five, I'm gonna give you guys prompt five first and then I'll go back to prompt four. Prompt five is to read a book with characters who are either a hot mess, famous or eccentric characters. Once again, um, the characters should be Asian. And so I'm gonna use Joy Look Club for that one as well because I know that it actually says, I think on the back of the cover that one is becoming a hot mess and that they're going through a lot of problems. And I think there is actually an eccentric character in there. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna use it for that one. Um, and we'll see how it goes. And so now going back to prompt four, prompt four is to read an Asian book that is you're going on an adventure. For that one, I do have a different book and I will be reading Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jean. This is Japanese inspired. It basically, you have, there's a competition to find the next Empress of uh, Hanoku. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm gonna try my best. Um, basically you have to survive the palaces, enchanted brooms, conquer winter, spring, summer, and fall, marry the prince. Everybody's eligible to compete except for yokai. And if you're not aware, yokai are Japanese like mythological monsters, demons, things like that. Um, so, you know, supernatural monsters and spirits. And basically you have a character of Mari who has spent her life training to become the empress. However, she is part yokai so she's got to kind of keep her secret go through the competition see if the prince will fall in love with her that kind of thing so it's very much i would consider that an adventure so i'm gonna um, pick this up so those three books should fulfill all five prompts for asian readathon and two of them are on my 40 before 40 so we're gonna make some headway there next we are coming back to magical readathon um i will be trying to finish up I never finished March's prompts for the Magical Readathon, the year long um, uh, prompts that she's giving us. The one that I haven't finished yet was to read a book over 500 pages. I'm about halfway through that book. So I'm gonna try to finish it out beforehand. If not, I will continue that one first. Um, the prompts for my characters to finish because I'm doing both paths because I have two characters. Um, one is to read a book that finishes on an odd numbered page. And for that, I will be reading Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. She is the actress who played the mom, Lorelai Gilmore, in The Gilmore Girls. This is kind of her story about getting into acting and going through filming The Gilmore Girls. I've heard it's supposed to be hysterical and funny. This has been on my 40 before 40 because I've really, really wanted to pick this up. So once again, we'll be knocking one off of the 40 before 40 and this fulfills the prompt because this ends on, I think, 200 and, what is it? 205 pages, so ends on an odd page. So I'm gonna be reading that for that prompt. Then we have a book that finishes on even pages. This was extremely hard. I have a lot of books that end on odd pages, not a lot on even. But I was fortunate enough that another book on my 40 before 40 ends in 96 pages. And that is The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I am trying. Um, this is a classic book about um, a girl who gets told a tale of a little prince who I think he travels on an airplane to distant planets. Um, it's supposed to be, I don't, I've heard it's metaphorical. I've heard it's more fairy tale. Like everybody kind of has their own thing, but I know that it's been a very famous book. So it's a short read. It's on my 40 before 40. It's 96 pages. So it ends in an even number page. So it's going to fulfill that prompt and we will be back on track for magical readathon for the annual prompts. Um, the, uh, that brings us to our last two readathons that are taking place during Memorial Day weekend. Um, which is, I believe, what is it? The 25th through the 28th around there. I know Memorial Day here in America might have. <laughs> People in other countries might not celebrate Memorial Day, you know, as we do in America. Um, but it's during that weekend. It's like a four day weekend towards the end of the month. 
and you have um, the first of which is the 72 hour smut den this is over um, hosted by Mel over at I think it's Melanor Reads um, they'll be doing it basically you have two um, two spinners one is your more light rom-com one is your more darker taboo romance and you spin it and whatever you spin you have to read that kind of prompt either for the day or you can spin again and you, you, you can spin for each um, book if you want to. Um, or you can just spin, like I said, you can spin and that's your prompt for the day. So you read as much smutty books, romance books, whatever it is. Last year I did this and I chose the light rom-com wheel because I had a lot more books that kind of filled that. I decided to go to the dark side this time around and spin the dark wheel. I have, um, spun my first um spin and I'll let you know about in that in a sec because it merges because I said that was one readathon for that weekend the second readathon for that same weekend is we are back with final book support group um as you know um this is hosted by Steph over at Steph Loves it sometimes it'll be a weekend uh readathon sometimes she'll do a week sometimes she'll do a month she kind of changes them out throughout the year. They happen all the time. The goal of which is to continue and finish the series that you start. And I have so many that I need to finish. Um, so now my challenge is to be mixing the 72 hour smut den with the final book support group and I hope I can find things to match and complete um, over that time, which has worked out for my first spin because my first spin I did, um, just so that I could have a book to show you guys for Smut Den. My first prompt was to read a book with a shirtless man on the cover. So, okay. For this book, I have decided to read Suncrossed. Um, this is the third book in the Zodiac Wolves. I believe this is written by Elizabeth Briggs. I'm not sure. I would have to double check that. I do not have my notes on me, but it'll show the author on, you know, the, the book up here. Um, but this is the third book in the Zodiac Wolf series. Um, so if I can finish this one, then I only have one book left. So maybe I will end on the shirtless man pick again, because I think the man is shirtless in the entire series of book covers. But that is the, um, werewolf shifter, um, kind of romance, uh, series that I've been reading and I'm really enjoying it. So I want to see where the story goes with that. And then after that, I will probably maybe do like a mini vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna do it before or after, depending how I spin for the Smut Den and the Final Book Support Group. I might have a separate little video to tell you kind of what I read for that. But other than that, that is kind of my goal for the month. There's not that many books on there. Some of them are really short, which is great. Um, so my goal, as always, is to try to add some more um, 40 for 4, 40 books in there before I do the Smut Den and the uh, Final Book Support Group Challenge. I'm looking at trying to um, maybe pick up like The Red Tent, which is another kind of female history. I think it's the lives of like women in the Bible, like from way back when and kind of the, the relationship that and like how women pass down um, information and, and like feminine wisdom. And it's all done under this red tent, like no men are allowed in the red tent. And it's like back from biblical times. So I'm curious about that. I know they made a movie about it many years ago and um, I happened to have it on an ebook. So I'm gonna try to get that one done because that is on my uh, 40 by 440. And we will see how many more I can get out. I know I still have like 32 or something books to get off of that 40 before 40. So it is crunch time. We are getting close to crunch time. These have to be done before the middle of August. So uh, a lot of the chunky books are still left on there. So we'll see what we can get through, um, see how things go. And then, like I said, I'll just be kind of like mood reading for the 72 hour smut den and uh, final book support group. I mean, somewhat mood reading because obviously I need to finish some series, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and I will keep you posted. I, if you guys are looking for any of the readathons, I will list all the information for them down below so you can go watch those videos, see whatever rules you're doing. I hope you guys will participate in, you know, at least one of them, um, whether you can do a weekend one, whether you might need the whole month to do something. They're all fun, really good readathons, and I've been having fun doing them. Um, other than that, I hope things are good. I know May is the last month of school for my kids, 
So I will be starting to prep for <laughs> the kids being home for the summer. Um, are you guys gonna be in that same boat? Do you guys have some summer plans coming up? Uh, what are you guys doing now that the weather's warming up? Um, wishing you guys all the very best. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.